Hi guys, uh, Hunter here. And so this weekend I've been out on a few different permissions. It's difficult, isn't it, sometimes in summer because the crops have, have fully grown or they've just been harvested and a lot of it's out in the field. So with an air rifle, you are kind of limited to distance. Um, and if it's not at the minute, it's that kind of month, isn't it? Or that time of the year where it's either raining or sunshine and or cloud and wind and rain. So it's, it's a very mixed bag of weather as it is going to be on this video. So, like I said, I've been on a few permissions. But, I do believe I've performed one of my best shots today. It's either, either got to be the first or second. I've said this in the video whilst I was taking the shot, but it's really breezy um, where I am today. And it must have been a 50, 60 yard shot easily. And I was using JSB Hades, and I didn't think I'd actually make the shot. I think it, I, I felt like it had fall short, or the wind would blow it to one side. And it didn't, it was so sweet, like so sweet. I just, I couldn't believe it, I couldn't believe I got the shot. I'm well chuffed for myself. Um, it's not often you get them shots, especially with an air rifle and then the wind on top as well. So again, it's gonna be a bit of a mixed bag. I hope you really enjoy it. I'm going to be having two or three weeks, maybe a bit of quiet time, cause I've got a lot of work on um, in the next few weeks. And with the weather changing and the seasons changing, I literally have to get this work done um, before the weather changes and it, it's an opportunity to earn some decent money and we all know what that's like these days with the changes of energy crisis and people out of work and stuff like that so I'm in a fortunate position where there's plenty of work coming in at the minute so I'm grateful for that because not everybody not everybody is in that situation so you've got to get it where you can aren't you lads um, and ladies if, you, <laughs> if you're watching doubtful but if you are um, so yeah, so I might be having maybe two or three weeks. I might get the odd shot up, but for most part, I'm going to be working a lot. So just um, excuse the break. It's not, you know, it's not a, a, a can't be bothered thing. It's just literally work's getting in the way at the minute, and I need to get that. And it will die off. And then I'm just looking forward to leaves dropping off the trees because it's so hard, um, you know, trying to get the leaves off, uh, try, trying to shoot birds from trees when there's full of leaves. And I, um, this permission we're at here, there's, well, you've seen it before on the HW97K, but where all the rabbits are, um, they started, I've started seeing quite a few rats. So I put some peanut butter out a couple of nights ago and it has been nibbled out. So I'm hoping tonight I'll get a few rats um, on this one. I've never seen them on this permission yet, but they seem to have manifested because it's a bit of a, they seem to have bred a bit and it's manifested into a few of them because there's like a vegetable patch there next to where the rabbits are digging in as well. And I bought myself the new ATN Supernova for my ATN scope. So I'm going to be testing out that tonight. So hopefully that'll be a nice clear image and um, good footage for you guys. So, oh, Did you hear about Mark, Marks and Spencer? Yeah, they're, they're bloody talking about like going down pan or something. But from what I understand, Marks and Spencer's is going down pan. And the profit margins are so low that they're talking about merging with pound stretcher or something yeah it's gonna be called stretch my hacks <laughs> So as you can see, there's a couple of rats here. There were some more, but I ended up having a miss on this rat here. He got away and unfortunately I didn't manage to get any more at night, so it will be a return visit.
Um, but as you can see, there's, there's rats definitely around here and visiting, so I'll bet a lot next time. So this is a miss, I'm afraid. I just managed to knock a few of his feathers off, but he did get away unscathed, um, flew away, and he were absolutely fine afterwards, but we don't get them all. So this shot I'm about to attempt is at least 50-60 yards. Now you can see the wind in the background with the trees blowing like mad. I'm going to have to hold over. I'm going to attempt to drop this in top of his head. I don't think I'll make shots simply because of the wind. But I'm hoping for a break in the wind. I hope I'll just drop this in his head. If I make this shot, it's got to be probably first or second best shot I've ever made. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> oh. Yes, he's at it. 